how you remineralize your water and what you're gonna need. Now, I use this product called Equilibrium. There are plenty of other products out there. Their GH boosters is anything you're really looking for. And then the second thing we use is alkalinity buffer and this sets your KH levels. This is a 33 gallon brute can. I wanna say I'm about 28 gallons or so. But in this can, what I'm doing is I'm doing 16 grams of the equilibrium and that'll put me at about five degrees or so of GH. And GH, if you want to say degrees to TDS or parts per million, which are exactly the same thing, TDS and parts per million equate the same way. Um, every one degree is 17.9 ppm. So five degrees of GH. And then I do six grams of uh, alkalinity buffer and that'll put me around three two and a half to three degrees of, of carbonate hardness, which would put me about 6.8 to 7.0 pH. And then total will be about, about 150 is where I'm mixing to. Now you see some people say, oh, go to 100. You know, it, it, it all depends on what your targets are and what you're looking for. I have hard water fish. They need that GH to be up a little higher. If you read this instructions on the back, it's going to tell you to put alkalinity buffer in and then a certain amount of acid buffer to set the pH level. This is not necessary. What you're basically doing is that you're bringing the KH up and then cutting it back down with acid buffer. So basically it's a waste. Acid buffer for me is if I need to knock down the pH because I mixed it wrong. For alkalinity buffer, you can use baking soda. Alkalinity buffer from Seachem has other things in it more than just baking soda, but baking soda will work perfectly fine. So if you're, if you just don't need any of that stuff and you just want to be able to set your pH or set your KH, should I say, that is a perfectly fine thing to do is use baking soda. I do again, highly recommend you're mixing in your container, not in your tank. When I add to this, I dump it in there. I have a pump running in there to mix it, but immediately I'll take a reading and I'll be 110, 120. I let that run for about 30 minutes or so to mix everything up. I might have to stir it up a little bit. Um, at that point, it, about 30 minutes it takes for everything to dissolve and then I'll be up around 150. So just adding it to your tank and taking a reading doesn't work. It really needs to be dissolved well into the tank uh, into the into the bucket before you're adding it to your tank this way to avoid any mishaps or miscalculations of how much you need to put in so that's the quick version of how you mix it but do you have more questions do you want to know more about it and how all this really works then check out this video right here the long version where i explain how i set up my whole system water filter and all how i do zero tbs water